After finishing my 12th, I was super excited to join a college. And the only thing that was running in my mind at that point of time was to crack highest placement in my college and work with top tech companies. So I opened YouTube, started watching all the roadmaps, tutorials and everything that are there for getting highest placement. And with that, I started my programming journey and also started sharing everything in YouTube to build my personal branding. And during my college, I was able to do two internships as full tech developer. And guess what? At the end, I was able to secure highest package in my college. With that, I am right now standing at 190k plus subscribers in YouTube with millions of views every month and also helped thousands of students like you who are stuck in their coding journey. So in this video, we will see how you can utilize your first year of your college very fruitfully and also I will share my mistakes during my journey. So if you can avoid doing such mistakes which I have did, your first year college will be rock solid. With that, let's start this video first year college roadmap. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel. Let's get started. There are two major parts of this video. In the first part, we will see about the reality of the college, academics, CGPA and whatever you are thinking of. And the second part that most of the students are unaware of that are skills and how to learn those skills, what skills to learn. Now, let's start with the first point that is reality of colleges, college life, academics, CGPA and everything. Your first year of your college is perhaps the best time of your life. Why? Because in this first year itself, you will know your instructors, faculty, director, principal, everyone will start knowing about you. You will be making several friends with whom you will be participating in hackathons, internships and so many projects. If you have not started concentrating in your first year itself, the time flies away. So with my experience, start concentrating right away. And the next point is most colleges promise great things but when we see the ground reality there is outdated curriculum outdated instructors there is not much happening which are promised actually so don't get stressed and don't give up if you entered into some of the not a good college have that self-motivation and you can achieve anything for example i am from a tier 3 college but at the end of the day with my self-learning i learned a lot of skills i made a side hustle i have a great job now the next main thing is managing your academic cgpa and attendance and everything so if you are into some of the college which is having an outdated curriculum i would say avoid cgpa maintain a cgpa around eight or nine that would be enough you no need to secure the 10th year yes if your college has the updated curriculum the next gen curriculum like what sst is having here i would really say focus on your cgr because at the end of the day whatever you are doing for your goal that is your dream package is the same that is being taught here and being examined here so you have to get the cgr very good over here i would say about nine is really good to ace big companies over here also so this is about academics now how to manage your academics how to manage your attendance and everything see it is simple if you learn skills whatever i'm mentioning in the next point then of course you will be in a position that you can get an internship if you are selected in internship in a first year itself then of course your college won't consider your attendance why because you're already working in some internship right so how to get that internships what are the skills that you have to learn it's not about securing cgpa along with the cgpa you also have to focus on the skills which i'm mentioning right now with that let's move to the skills that is the really important part and here we will plan our first year of our college semester wise now before i deep dive into the skills part what i wanted you to understand is the college in which you are studying the batch of 3000 students the batch of 1000 students or, or any number of students along with which you are studying are having the same 24 hours in a day the same instructors the same facilities the same wi-fi the same surrounding and the same environment so here the crucial thing that really matters for you to grab a highest package or not is the skills is the amount of hard work you put in and along with the hard work how smart you are working hard does also matters while you are learning skills so with that let's discuss the two main important skills one is hard skills next is soft skills which are really required to get into any of the placement company or even having your own startup it's now let's start with the hard skills first in the hard skills in the first semester of your college when you are getting started you should have already learned a programming language why because we already made a video what you should learn before joining a college but don't worry if you have not started anything because there are so many cases where i saw so many students are doing great things than me in the first year itself but during the long run that is four years of their college they will eventually fail why because even though i didn't have any prior coding knowledge i was consistent during my four year of my college so now it's your turn if you don't have any of the prior coding knowledge start picking up a programming language why i'm saying programming language if you are into mechanical if you are into civil or any other particular branches or if you don't have any interest towards programming in that case also i would really suggest 
you start with a programming language why computer science is into every field even if it is mechanical even if it is biotechnology or anything so start with the computer science programming language along with that start with web development which we have deeply discussed in our how to start programming video you can find that link over here go and watch now you started a programming language that could be C or Python or Java. What Scalar School of Technology prefers is Java. If you are very beginner, if you don't understand Java, start with a C. You can watch that video for the entire details. Now the next thing which you have to do parallelly is after one month HTML and CSS that is web development. Don't consider that you are interested into app development, you will not do web development. You have to do web development, you have to do HTML, CSS. Everyone have to do that. Even if you end up being an Android developer or iOS developer, you have to have the idea or knowledge about what is HTML, what is CSS, what is front end. So this is all about your first semester. Along with that, you also have to learn some of the several things. But I will deep dive into that in the second semester. Okay. Now you have cleared your first semester, you know a programming language, you cleared your fundamentals, you started doing data structure and algorithms. So that is also one thing which you have to do in your programming language, which will be covered in that video and web development of basics. Now the next step, that is your second semester, you have to focus on building project using this web development and programming language. Programming language will help you in building backend. Web development HTML CSS will help you building frontend and also JavaScript, which is also a programming language that will help you build front end logical parts. So this is all about building projects. Now, there is another one thing that you have to learn that is database. So what you have learned until now in your first semester, one programming language, DSA, HTML, CSS. Now in the second semester, you started with JavaScript and utilize these things to build some projects, right? And the next step that you have to do is database. You have to understand what are databases, what are the types of databases, how to connect database with your backend, how, what are the queries, what is CRUD operations, what are those things and all of those things you have to learn during your first half of your second semester. Now, the next main important thing that you have to do is you have learned some projects, you have learned some programming language, you have built some projects, basic beginner projects. It will easily cover almost six, seven, eight months of your first year of your college. Now, the main important thing no one will explain you is GitHub and open source. Now, whatever project that you have done, now you have to show that in the public. We will come to that point later in the soft skills part because we will speak about personal branding and all. But what I mean doing public is you have to start understanding about open source project, like how you have built your projects. There are several other million people who are already building several projects. So open source is basically the source code which you are having is open to everyone in the world. So that is called an open source project. So where is this code being uploaded? So that is called GitHub. We can say your code is being pushed into GitHub. What is GitHub and all? If you need a video regarding GitHub, then please do comment in the comment section. We will also bring a video on GitHub and open source series. Now that you have built some project, you have to understand how the Git works, how the GitHub works, how open source works, what are the kind of open source projects, how the tech stack works. There are several things that are there like web frameworks, backend frameworks and iOS development, Android development. There are several things that are there in the technology world, but you have to pick one, go deep dive into that and become master of it then you can start contributing into open source projects for example every year google conducts a competition called google summer of code where companies or projects will start sharing their issues there or they will come and register as a user or as a participant you have to pick some of the project that matches with your tech stack and you have to start contributing to it how you will contribute at what place you will contribute so for all of them we have github on top level github is basically like your google drive where you upload your code and you can make that uh, Google Drive public where other people can come and access that code and contribute it, change it, modify it. Some of the examples of open source companies are Mozilla Firefox, Linux and React. React is framework which you will understand when you go into web development front end framework. So this is entire roadmap for hard skills. Again, I'm saying it's just for hard skills. Hard skills is basically your programming skills or it will really help you to get in some of the startups or product based companies or your dream companies. Now, along with that, you have to also focus on data structure and algorithms. So these are the things that you have to cover in your first year of your college. Now, along with this, you also have to focus on your soft skills, that is communication skills. Even if you have great project, even if you have great coding skills, and if your communication skills are poor, then there are very less chances for you to get into some of the company. So communication skills is a very important thing that you have to build in your first year itself. How to build that? Start chatting with ChatGPT 4.0. There is an automated AI tool which will chat with you or else start building your personal brand. This will really improve your communication skills, writing skills, networking and so many other things. With this, we are coming to the, our next point that is networking. So in your college, in your first year of your college, 
if you are learning alone if you are doing any things alone then for very sure your chances of success is very low compared to when you are learning with someone who is already having some hands on experience or have already done that thing before so this is something which i will really double click again you should start networking from right now so if you are interested into video editing make a community join a community make a network of people who are already into video editing if you are into coding programming development start finding for some of the friends who are interested into that programming language or into the dsa competitive programming or several things so where you can find them once you start sharing your work online it could be linkedin it could be youtube or any other place people or students or your friends will start noticing you and if they are really interested into that they will start coming to you and you can reach out to them discuss your ideas and you both can learn together all this at the end will help you build communication skills great network will remove your stage fear will remove your shyness or anything that you have now from this networking you have to make a team of students work together to participate in hackathons build projects and internships right so this is all about soft skills now the another main important thing that you have to do is personal branding so personal branding is really important in your first year of your colleges so what is personal branding basically if you are really good at programming start sharing it online in youtube in linkedin with that people will start knowing okay so if there is any student who is having a great coding skills in everyone's mind your name will come so this is the power of personal branding if i say who does podcast well in india so you might have some other names in your brain ranveer alabadia or some other other names so who makes jokes you might have a carry minute who does good video edit tarun speaks so there are several cases that will come up so it is the power of personal branding people will identify you people will know you with the skill that you have will respect you understand and will start listening to you and the junior that will come in the upcoming year will start appreciating you for the work that you are doing right so personal branding how you can do just you can pick the phone take out the pain point of the users on what specific domain you can make videos start creating content publishing it in youtube and there you go it will take time to understand what kind of content or niche that you have to publish you will understand that by time but starting is the very main important thing so whatever i have mentioned in this video if you do these things in your first year itself i am 100% sure you will be ending up with an internship just after your first year itself understood so this is the entire first year roadmap that i wanted to share again i'm just repeating don't get into some of the other distractions start focusing on your skills start focusing on what you really want to do keep aside as well what we have discussed in the skills to learn before joining a college video so make sure that you are following those things make sure that you are following the videos if you have any kind of doubts then please do comment in the comment section we are very happy to bring up content like this and help you and guide you throughout your journey until you is your placement with this signing off let's meet in another video